what the Alrighty guys, Mark Delami here with another unboxing for you guys today. And this time we have right here is the PlayStation Portal. Sony's newest handheld, not a dedicated handheld, which is crazy to me. But it's a new handheld nonetheless. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing to see if this is worth picking up. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So here's the cover of it right here, the front part of the box. PlayStation Portal for PS5. You do need a PS5 to use this. You also do need Wi-Fi, which is crazy since it's a handheld but not a dedicated handheld. And it looks like you literally cut a DualSense in half and put it right between a tablet. But let's keep going. The top. Here's the back right here. Okay, all that good stuff. Okay. The bottom. The sides. Nothing on the sides. Okay. And I do have PlayStation's older handhelds over there which are my favorite but i've always been a handheld guy since i was a kid since the game boy i love handhelds and i try to get every new handheld that comes out so this is why i picked this one up so let's go ahead and continue with the quick unboxing let's get started okay so we got a box within a box this nice gray okay just some more stuff about the system here all that good stuff and we have like a little pull tab right here with the little PlayStation, the little symbols, that's pretty cool. And we have another box within a box, still with that gray. I'm liking this gray, kind of like that old school PlayStation 1. And we have a nice PlayStation logo there in white. Doesn't look like anything else is here is fancy. Just that tab, all right. You just take this off and there she is. Oh, and the back has, I believe the USB-C. What is it? USB-C to USB-C to charge it? Yeah. So I'm guessing because you can charge it on your PlayStation, which I heard takes a lot longer than just charging it into like a power brick or something. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Let's save that for last. And just a manual right here. Nothing else. Okay. So far, the box is pretty clean, simple to open up, and kind of stylish. But now let's open up this part will not open just slide it out let's get this playstation portal out oh look at that oh it's huge here it is it's actually a lot lighter than i thought it'd be it feels kind of like a dual sense like you're just holding a dual sense so we do have the sony logo on top little volume buttons there looks like we got the speakers right here uh, i'm not sure what that is and then the power button there we got the standard control buttons here, and we got the USB port, USB-C port right there, and headphone jack, and it looks like this could be the microphone. So this is the home button right there. Ooh, the joysticks are a little small. So yeah, the joysticks are smaller. Everything else seems to be the exact same size except the joysticks. They do feel good though, really clean compared to like a regular DualSense. See that? way smaller interesting let's go ahead and slide this off oh that was nice and a pretty nice screen right there very nice size very clean oh let's turn this on okay got that playstation logo let's go oh and the music's kind of nice too and it has like this led strip right here with the blue you can see it on both sides that's nice I'm gonna set this up real quick. So right away, you do have a software update you gotta download. Let's go ahead and do that. Only 145 megs. And right here, we're scanning for the PS5. This is actually pretty cool, the sounds and the effects. And so we can see it in the dark with the blue lights, it's really clean. The screen's actually really nice. All right, after several attempts, it finally connected. So it doesn't look too bad, actually. Let me see, let me go on here. And I'm running this on my T-Mobile internet, which is not great internet. Um, but, oh, it feels nice too. Okay. I think what I remember reading is that it needs at least five megs to run, but don't quote me that. Hmm. This is not bad, actually, especially for a smaller screen. I mean, you notice that it's not as clean as it can be, obviously, but not bad. Wow. I thought it would be a lot worse. I'm pleasantly surprised. And then we'll just go home. 
Let's try a little Call of Duty. I doubt. Let's see. This is going to be crazy. All right. I'm actually playing some online. Yeah, it's a little slow, but we'll see. Free for all. Weapons free. Engage all threats on target. Damn. What the fuck? Oh, it's super. I don't know if it's because of my internet or it's because I'm using this. Yeah, it's. I do not recommend playing this, obviously, but it does run to a point. Crazy how we went from the PSP, well, this is actually the Slim, the 3000, to the PSP Go, which is one of my favorites, even though that didn't do well, and to the PS Vita, it is dirty, as you can tell here. This thing is actually the slim model. There was a bigger one with the OLED screen, which was gorgeous. This was so underrated. Man, this was a way ahead of its time. Now to this. And this is crazy because this sold out twice when they had the pre-orders and then when it became available. So Sony, PlayStation, we do still want handhelds. And just a size comparison with the Switch, which is awesome. One of my favorite handhelds. Look at that. Of course, it's going to be thicker there. But on the bottom... Slimmer, of course, but this is not a dedicated handheld. I'm just showing you the size comparison. Definitely not pocket friendly. But is this worth picking up? I would say I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this thing. Um, besides the setup, for some reason it wasn't connecting to my PS5. But it looks good for $200 and I can actually play my games. And I thought it was going to be terrible because my internet sucks. But no. It actually works, so I would say, to me, it's definitely worth picking up. But I don't know what you guys think. Did you pick one of these up? Is it worth picking up to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video or like the portal, go ahead and click the like. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications, so that way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways that I do. And for all other things that I post, check them on the social networks, on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link to those in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.